Okay folks, we're gonna take a little trip today from Green Valley to Tubac, which is an artist community about 20 miles or so south. So right now we are at La Cañada making a right eastbound onto Continental. And we are gonna go down here and take the freeway ramp for I-19, but there is one stoplight first. And it looks like it's red. So I will pause while we're waiting for the light and then show you where we're going to go. Oh, it just turned green. We have green light luck today. So as you can see, 19 south is to the right. And if we wanted to go 19 towards Tucson, we would be in the far left lane. Here we have a Utah license plate in front of us, one of our mini winter visitors. Okay, the light is red right now, so I'm gonna pause. And um, Light has turned green. Now we are turning southbound onto I-19. While we were sitting here at the light, we saw license plates from Washington State, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, and Utah. So our winter visitors are here in full force at this time of the year. So anyway, I'm going to pause and I will come back when we come to a little landmark. Stand by. Okay, we're about five or six minutes south. You can see this is exit 48, Aravaca, two kilometers. Uh, remember this stretch of highway, I-19, is measured in kilometers and meters. Uh, it's the only stretch of highway in the, in the United States to be so measured. And I think we're going to be coming up on a sign here that is going to announce the entrance into Santa Cruz County from, we are currently in Pima County, so I'm gonna show you that when we get there, hang on. Okay, here we go. Here is the sign uh, over Aravaca Road saying that we're entering Santa Cruz County. So we are in Santa Cruz County and we will pause until we get to the next landmark. We're gonna be taking the Chavez Siding Road exit. Stand by. Okay, we're just coming up on exit 42, which is Agua Linda Road, meaning beautiful water. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, in the distance on the far side of the road, and we're gonna be up to it here in just a moment, that is the Border Patrol checkpoint. And uh, let's get a mile marker. Okay, Chavez Siding Road is one mile, or one kilometer. This is exit 40, so it's maybe 18 miles inside the border. There's the checkpoint. We're gonna go through that on the way back. The entire freeway comes to a halt and everybody has to go through the checkpoint. And we are gonna take Chavez Siding Road, this exit right here, and then we'll take the frontage road the rest of the way. Hang on with us here. Okay, we're at the bottom of the exit, Chavez Siding. We're gonna make a left, meaning eastbound. And we're gonna go over here to the um, frontage road and take the frontage road on down. If we went all the way down to the Tubac exit, we would actually have to come back this way a little bit. Those are the Santa Rita Mountains there. And if you look to the far left here, that is gorgeous, beautiful elephant head right there. Okay, we're gonna take the frontage road and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we are approaching Tubac. And this is the kind of commercial center here. As you can see, there's the big two-buck sign. And there are just several streets of stores of all kinds. And there's a museum here, and there's a gallery, several galleries. And it, like I said, a two-buck is an artist community. It only has a few thousand people here. Half of those are gone during the summer. Um, but there's just store after store. Here's the Lone Mountain Turquoise, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have one particular one uh, over here on the left. You see the yellow sign. It's hard to see it with the trucks parked right there. But it says La Cucaracha. That's one of our favorite stores here. Anyway, let us find the store we want to go to and we'll be back. Okay, guys. We're at Los Cantaros here in Tubac uh, store. They have everything from all kinds of uh, metal artwork and clay work. Los Cantaros means like a clay water jug. And uh, this is where we got our Christmas tree. One of our 
subscribers wanted to uh, see about Christmas trees, so we're gonna walk in and show you. And I've asked permission to video and was granted. So if we come in, they have all kinds of things in here. I mean, it's overload. I mean, it's just beautiful in here. Okay, um, they have a lot of Day of the Dead things. See these beautiful Day of the Dead skeletons here? They have a lot of those. Here's one of those type of Christmas trees over here, but they've got several right here on this table. And um, this one is 52 inches. Let me take it all the way back. And this one is $325 and there's 10% off. This is a 40 inch. It is $275 with 10% off. Here's a 34 inch for $255, 10% off. And then here's smaller ones, 195, 10% off. And this one says it's available in a copper color, which I think is what this is. And it is 275 with 10% off, and that's a 40 inch. Looks taller than that, but anyway. So these are the Christmas trees. And they have a lot of other things here in this store. All of these angels and this Day of the Dead giant um, lady in a rocking chair. Woodwork. Quadrifoil mirrors. Beautiful mirrors. Parrots. Indian type art, the Mexican star, beautiful benches, jugs, lots of Day of the Dead things. Anyway, I'm not going to take too much more video because I don't want it to get too long. We're going to take a little bit on the way back. But anyway, just to give you an idea of what is in Los Cantaros here in Tubac. Arizona. Back to your Christmas trees. Okay folks, that's it for now.